Okay, I'm here at ASH at our last day, and we presented our country's experience on the use of rentuximab and in patients with relapsed refractory Hodgkin lymphoma. We retrospectively looked at all the indications, and we have uh, information on 117 cases, of which 72 were monotherapy with rentuximab, and the rest were patients who received combined modality with rentuximab and bendamustin. We had good results, but not as good as those published in the pivotal trial. We had 28% complete, re complete remissions on the monotherapy arm, and 55% complete remission on the combined modality with rentuximab and bendamustin. Um, and our PFS is a very, at one year, is around 35%. So although we did have good results, and this is definitely a good option, so we did not have the same results as those published. And we are investigating the reasons one of the things we saw when we, when we found these results, we saw that some centers or some areas of the country had better results than other areas of the country. So we uh, wrote back to all the physicians and we asked whether they were able to do the exact dosing at the exact time. And that was not true for many of the areas. Uh, unfortunately, our country doesn't have the same access to drugs, so some patients could not receive the exact dose. So we are not sure whether that is the reason, but that is our country's experience. And we are looking forward to do a prospective uh, trial, looking at everything and giving some country guidelines to see when patients should be treated and when patients should be evaluated. So I hope to that we can have better results in the future.